What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ferno the Plug and I am going to be going over the weekly reset for this week. So this is going to be uh, July 7th to July 14th. These items will be available. So let's go ahead, we're going to jump straight in. We're going to start off with the White House vendor. And first on the list we're going to have the Lightning Rod. The core attribute is going to be 10% pistol damage and we're going to have the lower attribute at 7% critical hit chance with the Perfect Salvage. Now the Perfect Salvage is uh, killing a target has a 80 five percent chance to refill the magazine um, as many times as I've gotten this pistol I've never used it uh, it could be useful for other people I mean you do get that 85 percent chance that's a lot higher uh, when it comes to uh, RNG uh, saying get that roll uh, but just know that you have to kill that enemy too so uh, a lot of times we're not really using the pistols unless you got a shield build so I would say uh, a note to that weapon but you can definitely pick that up and try it yourself next on the list we're gonna have the vector SBR 9 millimeter uh, the core attribute is gonna be 10 percent SMG damage then we have 15 point 5% critical hit chance, lower attribute is going to be 6% health damage. Then we're going to have the talent bread basket. Um, not a bad roll on this gun. Uh, the critical hit chance is right where I would want it to be. I usually like it around 15% if anything. Uh, and then you also have the health damage on there and then you got bread basket. So um, people playing on council, you're going to usually hit the body more often anyway. If you wanted to, you could definitely pick this gun up. It would be worth it. Um, but if you're one of those guys who uh, just like to shoot for the head, uh, I would definitely not pick this one up. Like I said, it does have good rolls on it. Uh, me personally, if I picked it up, I would just put uh, damage to armor on there and it'll be perfect for me. Um, but that's entirely up to you and your play style. So definitely come check this out. It could be useful. Next we have the MK16. The core attribute is going to be 11% assault rifle damage. Then we have 11% health damage then we have the lower attribute 13.9 percent swap speed and then the talent fast hands um this one just seems useless to me right now because you'd have to roll uh two talents unless you're going to go for a four crit build and just reload this gun faster but um with the lower rpms i, I probably wouldn't pick this up uh next we're going to have the uh 586 magnum uh core attribute is going to be 6% pistol damage then we're going to have the lower attribute at 12% stability uh, talent is going to be ranger um, pretty pretty good gun uh, stability is not bad to have on a pistol um, ranger as well uh, the gun damage is pretty nice you could just roll that pistol damage max it'll be a pretty nice pistol if you wanted to pick that up uh, next we're going to have the Alp Summit Armaments backpack we're going to have a core attribute yellow skill tier lower attribute is going to be 8.5% status effect and we're gonna have 16.2 percent repair skill yellow mod slot and the talent adrenaline rush so anybody that doesn't have adrenaline rush you have a backpack right here to go and store that in your library definitely come do that if anything um, you want those talents in your library next we're gonna have the Aradi's holding chest piece it's gonna have a core attribute red at 11.7 percent weapon damage we're gonna have the lower attribute 7.4 percent headshot damage then we have 8.5 percent status effect it's gonna have a red mod slot and tag team uh, I don't usually use this talent at all you can definitely put it in your library if you would like um, but I haven't seen too many uses for this unless you're fighting very tanky enemies um, Next, we're going to go into the offensive mods. We have an offensive mod here. It's going to have 7.3% headshot damage. Then we have a striker uh, drone mod. It's going to have 6.3% deflector duration. So that would be for the uh, defender drone. Next, we have a uh, turret mod with 4.2% damage. Then we have a sticky bomb mod with 6.3% damage. Definitely come pick this one up if you do not have that. And now we're going to make our way to the clan vendor. Alright ladies and gentlemen, now we've made it to the clan vendor, so let's go ahead and see what we got on the list for today. And first on that list, we're going to have the swap chain, uh, pretty useless SMG, but uh, core attribute is going to be 11% SMG damage, and we have 15.5% critical hit chance. Lower attribute is going to be 9% headshot damage, and we have the talent perfectly unwavering. Uh, swapping to this weapon grants plus 400% weapon handling for five seconds and this is the reason I don't pick this gun uh, kills refresh the buff swapping away disables this from all weapons for five seconds so um me personally I've never tested it um it, it just doesn't seem right in the text when it talks about the talent if I swap away from this gun it's disabled so when would I be able to use it with another weapon um you can definitely come and try it I've, I've never even 
given a damn to even try and test it out. But uh, that's that's entirely up to you guys. You can definitely come and try this if you would like. Uh, but I would say uh, uh, big fat no to that one. Next we have the Aces and 8 chess piece. Uh, core attribute is going to be a red at 11% weapon damage. Then we have the lower attribute at 11.4% critical hit damage. Uh, we're going to have a red mod slot there. And the talent is going to be no limit. Uh, increases dead man hand damage bonus from 30% to 50%. So this is really good uh, if you're running those sniper builds. If you're going to be shooting multiple times, definitely. Uh, this was better with the SVD, I would say. Uh, it was definitely better before the armor switch over. I don't use too many snipers now since the switch over, so that's entirely up to you guys if you would like to pick this chess piece up. Uh, next, we're going to have the tip of the spear backpack. Core attribute is going to be a red at 12.5% weapon damage. Then we have the lower attribute at 7.1% skill damage. Then we have a red mod slot, and the talent is going to be signature moves. Increases signature weapon damage by 20% and doubles the amount of signature weapon ammo generated by aggressive recon. So uh, aggressive recon is part of the four piece. So aggressive recon dealing damage with a signature weapon increases total weapon damage by 20% for 60 seconds. Uh, and then automatically generate signature weapon ammo every 60 seconds. So you're going to get 40% weapon damage with that backpack. Um, I don't see too many people using the tip of the spear either right now. Um, so that's entirely up to you if you want to test this. It's not that bad of a backpack. Uh, the weapon damage is pretty nice. Uh, you definitely don't need the skill damage. So you can roll that to whatever you would like. Next on the list, we have the Foundry Bulwark Knee Pads. Now, this is pretty good for the core attribute. Um, it's going to be a blue, and we got the armor at 132,290, and then you have the lower attribute with 7.8% explosive resistance. Now, because it's around the uh, 32 range, I try to stay around like uh, 140 um, to 150 when I pick these up. Uh, anything green really because uh, if it's not maxed out you're kind of missing out on a lot of things uh, but if you if you having trouble finding these knee pads you should definitely come and grab these you can do whatever you want with that bottom talent or you can just roll that top talent me personally I would go hazard protection critical hit damage or critical hit chance for the lower talent or uh, not talent but the lower attribute um, you can definitely do what you want there as well um, but those are just my suggestions when using that uh, type of gear set Next, we're going to have the X45 Tactical Pistol. Core attribute is going to be 11% pistol damage. Lower attribute is going to be 3.9% rate of fire. And we're going to have the talent at uh, reformation. So headshots grant plus 30% skill repair for 15 seconds. Um, I don't see a lot of people using this either. Um, healing builds aren't too big right now. Um, they they should be getting there soon though. Well, we still got a lot of testing to do, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, then next, we have the Double Barrel Sawed Off Shotgun. Uh, that's going to come with the core attribute 15% shotgun damage. Then we have the 5% damage to armor. Lower attribute is going to be 11% reload speed with the talent Vindictive. So uh, with Vindictive, just killing an enemy with a status effect uh, applied um, applied grants you and all allies 15 within 15 meters, 15% 15 critical hit chance and 15% critical hit damage for 20 seconds. So um, this is probably this is something you want to run on a status build just to buff your team a little bit. Um, it's not a bad talent, but um, lately people have been running a lot of hazard protection when it comes to PvP. Um, you know that the PvE side, they don't really have hazard protection unless you're fighting like a raid boss or something like that. So you can definitely do whatever you want there um, if you would like to pick that up. Uh, then we have the SASG-12 shotgun. It's going to have the core attribute at 12% shotgun damage. Then we got 10% damage to armor. Uh, lower attribute is going to be 9% headshot damage. And then we have the talent Future Perfect. This is going to be one of the newer ones that came with uh, Title Update 10. So weapon kills grant plus one skill tier. It uh, lasts for 15 seconds and it stacks up three times. You can also put yourself in overcharge if you get over six. So um, a lot of times if you're going to do something like that, uh, like a hybrid build, I try to stay around like maybe four, four yellows. That way that third kill is definitely going to give you that overcharge. Um, next on the list, we have the custom M44 uh, sniper rifle. Core attribute is going to be 12% marksman rifle damage. Then we have 97% headshot damage. Lower attribute is going to be 10.5% stability. And then we have the talent steady handed. So steady handed uh, on this weapon is pretty much useless. You would have to hit 100 people um, in order to get the, the magazine to refill. So I would definitely not do that, especially with a 5 mag. Uh, this is a useless weapon. Uh, unless you're going to switch the talent 
to uh, something else. Next we have the Overlord Armaments uh, knee pads. Core attribute is going to be a red at 11.4% weapon damage. Then we have the lower attribute 17.4% repair skill and 8.1% explosive resistance. Um, not bad. Not bad. Um, rifle builds are kind of dying out too. I haven't seen too many of those either. So, um, I mean, you could make a nice healing build with a uh, rifle if you want to come pick these up. You can switch that explosive resistance to whatever you want or you can keep it there. So uh, that's entirely up to you as well and the type of playstyle you're going for. Next we have the Group of Sombra SA Mask and that's going to have a core attribute red at 12.9% weapon damage. Lower attribute is going to be 12% skill haste. It's going to be a god roll skill haste there. Then we got 4.9% skill damage with a yellow mod slot. Um, not a bad mask, uh, especially with uh, right now. Um, the Vow Mask is out right now, the two-piece uh, the two-piece group of Sombra gives you that explosive damage, so you can definitely use that to increase your concussion grenade. Um, me, personally, I feel like the Vowel Mask works better with a brand set build over the gear set, but uh, that's entirely up to you as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy that mask because I'm going to test that out myself. I'm still trying to fix my build to uh, showcase it later, so hopefully we'll get all the pieces I need for that. Next, we have the uh, group of Sombra SA uh, Holster. That's going to have a core attribute 12% weapon damage. Then we have the uh, lower attribute 17.3% repair skill and 7% weapon handling. Um, not too much to say for that there. Um, unless you're trying to do like a hybrid build again, you can keep that repair skill and uh, roll that weapon handling off or keep that weapon handling or you can just uh, roll over the repair skill and put critical hit damage, critical hit chance, or just some hazard protection. Uh, entirely up to you. Next we have the defensive uh, system mending mod. It's going to have 16,346 armor on kill. Then we have a chem launcher mod with 14.2% ensnare health. Next we have a firefly mod with 6.5% damage. And last we're going to have a shield mod with 4.4% holstered regeneration. Alright, and that's going to be it for the White House. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out the DZ vendors. So uh, just give me one second and we'll be right back. Alright ladies and gentlemen, now we've made it to our third location which is going to be Dark Zone East. So let's go ahead and see what we got on the list here. And first on that list we're going to have the Commando Sniper Rifle. It's going to be a SVD. We're going to have the Core Attribute 10% Marksman Rifle Damage. Then we have 84% Headshot Damage. Lower Attribute is going to be 9.5% Magazine Size. And then we're going to have the Talent Perfectly Naked. Uh, hitting an enemy with no armor grants plus 50% Headshot Damage for 8 seconds. Um, this one doesn't seem pretty bad, especially with Head Hunter right now and uh, Vigilance uh, put together. You could probably use this and make a nice build. Um, I, I have not tested this as the armor switchover. Um, that's entirely up to you. I have not made any sniper builds yet, so um, you can definitely come test this out if you would like. It does not have that bad of rows on there. Uh, if anything, I would just max out the headshot damage or uh, switch that magazine size. Um, next on the list, we're going to have the Custom M44. Uh, core attribute is going to be 8% marksman rifle damage. Then we have 79% headshot damage. And then we're going to have the lower attribute 6% damage to armor. And then we have the talent future perfect. I'm not going to go over that one again since I just read it. Next we're going to have the custom L86A2 LMG. The core attribute for that is going to be 8% LMG damage. 9% damage to targets out of cover. Lower attribute is going to be 9% health damage. And then we're going to have the talent perpetuation. Uh, perpetuation on headshot grant plus 50% status effect damage and duration to the next status effect you apply so um, this is really great for status builds um, if you want to keep that damage up longer uh, anybody using a uh, eclipse build stuff like that you can definitely use this gun it will help you out and it will it will change your game drastically definitely um, maybe not for this LMG per se uh, you can put it on any other weapon uh, SMG anything like that just to make sure you keep those stacks up um, especially when uh, you're knowing if you kill someone it's going to spread to the next person and you're going to get uh, depending on if you're using that chest piece you're going to get 75 percent to 50 percent so um, that's up to you if you want to run this on your build um, but usually you can only run one exotic anyway so I don't see why you wouldn't put it on your build to tell you the truth um, but like I said entirely up to you and how you want to run it next we're going to have the ongoing directive mask uh, core attribute is going to be a red at 10.8% weapon damage then we're going to have the lower attribute 6% weapon handling with a yellow mod slot um, 
right now this is pretty much useless to me I'm looking for one that is like uh, I'm looking for the bottom to be maxed uh, critical hit chance critical hit damage so um if you did want to pick this up uh, this is a great um, this is a great set for status effects uh, the backpack gives you 50% uh, extra no I think it gives you a hundred it gives you a hundred percent uh, extra damage on status effects so you could definitely come and try this whole build out uh, the reload speed is not bad and the fact that you uh, get status effect uh, bullets the hollow point rounds so you can status someone whenever you want to uh, it'll definitely work out well for you if you would like to try this out uh, next on the list we're gonna have the tip of the spear uh, holster um, that one's gonna have a red core attribute at 10.4 percent weapon damage then we're gonna have the lower attribute at 3821 armor regen um, like I said this set is pretty useless nobody's really using that right now uh, next we have the 511 tactical mask core attribute is gonna be a blue at 124,960 seven armor lower attribute is going to be 16.4 percent repair skill and then we have 3975 armor regeneration with a blue mod slot um usually i try to stay away from the 511 tactical because you get the health in the paragon the only reason you should be using this is if you're looking for incoming repairs and uh since they nerfed the repairs lately um it's not really much reason to use this build unless you're trying to make a healer to keep yourself up so um that's entirely up to you as well if you'd like to come and pick this up uh, the rows are not that bad uh, you can definitely use it if you would like to come and grab it but um I wouldn't grab it unless you're gonna at least use a two-piece or a three-piece for that hazard protection next we're gonna have the uh, wyvern wear holster and that's gonna be a core attribute yellow skier tier skill tier uh, we're gonna have the lower attribute at 18,935 health that's gonna be a max god roll there then we're gonna have 3,203 uh, armor regeneration next on the list we have a utility mod and that's gonna be 10.2 percent skill haste next we have a chem launcher mod with plus one ammo then we have a hive mod with 7.3 percent health Next we have a pulse mod that's going to have 8.8% radius and last we're going to have a shock trap mod with 5.9% uh, I'm sorry 5.9 seconds of duration added. Alright so now we're done here let's go ahead and move on to dark zone south. Alright guys now we've made it to dark zone south so let's go ahead and see what we got on the list here. And first on that list, we're going to have the Matador, Walker and Harris, uh, Walker, Harris, and Co. Uh, this is going to be one of the newer brand sets, and uh, this is actually a pretty good backpack. So you definitely, I'm, I'm just going to say this right now. If you don't have this backpack, come pick it up. Uh, the 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 rows on this are not bad either. Uh, and I've been looking for one of these for a while with the hazard protection. I'm looking for a max, but definitely come pick this up so we got uh, the core attribute is going to be a red at 9.6 percent weapon damage uh, we have the lower attribute 5.5 percent weapon handling then we have 8.6 percent hazard protection red mod slot and the perfect adrenaline rush now um, the adrenaline rush basically whenever you're within 10 meters of an enemy you're gonna get armor back you're gonna get 23 percent with the perfect adrenaline rush you're gonna get 20 percent with the uh, regular adrenaline rush and that stacks up three times uh, definitely come and pick this backpack up um, you're probably not gonna find another one like this unless your RNG is just fucking god roll. Uh, but I have had a hard time finding this, and I'm, I'm definitely gonna pick this up. I just gotta hit my stash because I don't have enough resources. Next on the list, we're gonna have the M1928 uh, Tummy Gun. Core attribute is gonna be 15% SMG damage, 10.5% critical hit chance. Then we have the lower attribute at 5% health damage, and then we have preservation. Uh, I'm not gonna go over that one again since I went over it at uh, Dark Zone East. Next, we're going to have the AUG A3 CQC. Uh, this weapon is going to have a core attribute 11% assault rifle damage, 15% he uh, health damage. Then we're going to have the lower attribute at 9% magazine size, and we're going to have the talent in sync. So hitting an enemy grants plus 15% skill, uh, skill damage for fi 5 seconds. Uh, that's basically using your gun to shoot someone. So with a bullet, you're going to get that 50% damage for your skill. Uh, using a skill you're gonna uh, and damaging someone you're gonna get 15% weapon damage for five seconds so it's gonna be five seconds each if you have both of those buffs up it's gonna double so uh, for the perfect the perfectly in sync or the perfect in sync 
you're going to get, uh, what, 20% skill damage and 20% weapon damage. So when it doubles, you're going to get 40%. Uh, for the regular, you're only going to get 30%. So just keep that in mind, too, when you're looking for your weapons. And uh, you can only get that uh, the perfect on a Harmony, which is going to be a rifle. So um, that can depend on what you're doing, too, depending on the gun you want. So uh, this one's definitely not bad for the rows that's on there now. You can come pick this one up and try it out. Or uh, you can just leave it alone, whatever you feel. Next, we're going to have the X45 Tactical. It's going to have a core attribute 10% pistol damage. Then we're going to have the lower attribute 7% critical hit damage. Then we're going to have the talent at uh, Killer. Uh, killing an enemy with a critical hit grants plus 40% critical hit damage for 10 seconds. Now, um, I know there is a perfect one. I don't necessarily remember if the time is increased or if the critical hit damage is increased. I think it's 50% critical hit damage that you get, though. Um, you'll find that on the Dark Winter. Uh, this is definitely a good... Uh, talent to go with uh, for any gun that you would like to use um, so you can definitely come pick this up if you're thinking about running a pistol build uh, it's it's not that good but uh, you could definitely use it especially with the seven percent critical hit damage already on there so that's entirely up to you if you would like to pick this up next we're gonna have the true patriot backpack and that's gonna have a core attribute blue uh, 110,788 armor. Lower attribute is going to be 7.7% headshot damage. Then we're going to have a blue mod slot. And then you're going to have the talent uh, Patriotic Boost. It's going to increase red, white, and blue debuff strength. So you're going to have red instead of 8%. You're going to have plus 12%. Instead of the white 2%, you're going to have 2 uh 3%. And then for the blue, you, instead of 8%, you're going to have plus 12%. Now, I see a lot of people not using this right now. And... Um, it, it did get nerfed into the ground. I feel like the white should be at least 5% with the backpack, and that would bring it back to being able to be used. But there's another thing that they switched to for the full flag. So enemies that die uh, while under the effect of all three debuffs creates a 5-meter explosion dealing damage equal to their total health and armor. So this was switched. It used to be 900% uh, explosive damage flat. Since you're doing total health and total armor this could be very powerful in the right hands so definitely don't sleep on this backpack or uh, this gear set in general um, when somebody figures out what to do with this it's gonna be great so right now you got the headshot damage um, that's more around the lines I would say maybe a PC person would use that uh, I'd go more critical hit chance critical hit damage but do not sleep on this set this set can be very powerful in the right hands next we're gonna have the hardwired chest piece it's gonna have a core attribute yellow skill tier we're going to have the lower attribute uh, hazard protection it's going to have 8.6 percent then we're going to have a yellow uh, yellow mod slot and it's going to have positive reinforcement so increases feedback loop skill damage and repair bonus from plus 10 percent to plus 25 percent uh it's not a bad set i haven't seen too many people using it lately but uh you can it'll definitely come back i, I can guarantee that especially because you get the 30 percent repair skills now and you still get the skill damage the uh the skill haste is still good as well, but uh, not always necessary depending on the build you get because uh, some of those gadgets you're going to use just for having six skill tier, you'll get that skill haste already. Next on the list, we're going to have the Richard and Kaiser Gamble Backpack. It's going to have a core attribute yellow skill tier. Then we're going to have the uh, lower attributes at 9% hazard protection, 8.2% skill damage. And then we have a blue mod slot with the Talent Vigilance. So that's going to increase total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. Now, uh, if you get the gift, which is going to be the name backpack under Providence, uh, the only thing that switches on that is the time to get your buff back. So instead of 4 seconds, it's going to be 3 seconds if you're looking for that anybody that's new um this one's not bad uh especially for richard and kaiser because you get that income and repairs uh at uh the first level um and you can definitely switch that core attribute to whatever you would like so um definitely uh if you're if you're looking for something different you should definitely come and pick up this backpack next we're going to have the richard and kaiser uh richard and kaiser gamble chest piece that's going to have a core attribute skill tier as well then we're going to have the uh, lower attribute 7.1 percent explosive resistance then we have 7.9 percent headshot damage blue mod slot and the talent empathetic resolve so repairing an ally increases their total weapon damage and skill damage by 3 to 15 percent for 20 seconds and if it's yourself you're going to get 1 to 7 percent the effectiveness is increased by your skill tier now 
don't think that this is going to go over 7% or the 15% when you're healing someone else. Uh, the max skill tier is going to give you the max out number that's on there as far as I know. Uh, as many people that I've seen using it, I haven't seen their uh, damage go up too, too much. But it is definitely great when you can keep your... Um, when you can heal your allies and increase their damage, uh, especially for uh, some type of support healing build. Next on the list, we're going to have a mod slot. We're going to start with an offensive. It's going to be 10.3% critical hit damage. Then we have a assault drone mod with 4.3% damage. Next, we have a striker, uh, a stationary striker um, drone mod and that's going to be 7.3 percent health and then we have the sticky bomb mod with 4.8 percent blast radius all right guys so now that we're done here we're going to be moving on to our last place which is going to be dark zone west all right guys now that we've made it to dark zone west let's go ahead and see what we got on the list and first on the list, we're going to have the Virginian. It's going to have the core attribute, 10% rifle damage. Then we have 11% critical hit damage. Lower attribute is going to be 9% headshot damage. And then we're going to have the talent, perfect boomerang. Uh, critical hits have a 75% chance to return the bullet to the magazine. If the bullet is returned to the magazine, the next shot has plus 50% increased damage. Uh, a lot of people sleep on the Virginian because of the low magazine size this gun hits like a truck do not sleep on this gun you should definitely come and pick it up if you don't have it these rows are pretty decent um so just try it out i'm gonna tell you try it out um if you don't like it for pvp you will definitely like it for pve next on the list we're gonna have the sasg 12 shotgun critical uh, i'm sorry core attributes gonna be 13 percent uh, shotgun damage, then we're going to have 6% damage to armor. Lower attribute is going to be 13.7% uh, swap speed. Then we're going to have the talent vindictive. I'm not going to go over that one again since I just did. Uh, next, we're going to have the lightweight M4 rifle. Core attribute is going to be 10% rifle damage, then we have 12% critical hit damage. Lower attribute is going to be 7% critical hit chance with the talent lucky shot. So with lucky shot, magazine capacity is increased by 20%. Miss shots from cover have a 100% chance to return to the magazine so if you're one of those guys that misses a lot you should definitely put this on your gun as long as you're in cover you're gonna get that bullet right back to your magazine next we're gonna have a true patriot glove and that's gonna have a core attribute uh, blue uh, it's going to be 122,404 armor then we're going to have the lower attribute 3921 armor regeneration next we're going to have a hardwired knee pad core attribute is going to be a yellow skill tier with the attribute 15.1 percent repair skill next we're going to have the walker and harris uh well walker harris and co i always say walker and harris but walker harris and co and that's going to have a core attribute red with 10.4 percent weapon damage lower attribute is going to be seven percent headshot damage and then we have 8.3 percent status effect next we're going to have the seska uh von viral bow Varaba. I'm not 100% sure how to say that, so I'm going to just say Seska. And then we got the core attribute is going to be red with 12.5% weapon damage. Lower attribute is going to be 7.3% status effect. Then we have 10.2% critical hit damage. Not a bad uh, setup for knee pads. You can definitely come grab these, put that critical hit uh, damage, well, critical hit chance there. Or you can just roll hazard protection. Uh, these look like really good knee pads. You could probably use these for a lot of things. Next, we're going to have a defensive mod that's going to have 8.2% disrupt resistance. Next, we have a seeker mod mod, and that's going to be 4.9% skill haste. Then we have a shield mod with 4.2% shield health. Next, we have a firefly mod, and that's going to be 7.9% speed. And last, we have a decoy mod with 6% duration. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like. And uh, I will catch you next week in the next one. Peace. The east. You can come right here to this little door here. Uh, it's going to be Charlie Checkpoint. You're literally going to take a right when you come out of that door. You're going to run over. You're going to come up these stairs. Well, not even stairs. You're going to come up this ladder right here and literally the door is right there you can see it right on the side uh... it's not always going to be the same for everyone but hey you can definitely come and try it he just might be there for you so uh... yeah with that being said i'm just gonna jump straight into the reset video enjoy